Hello everybody, welcome back. Zorlux here, and today we're in the swamp trying to get ourselves some slime balls. Now, normally that would take me forever with the little sword that I had before, but check this out. Yeah, you already know. Got ourselves a nice looting sword. Took me forever in the little zombie farm to get that, but finally got it, and we're over here getting some slime balls. Already kind of set around for the night, got 17 here. Alright guys, we're back over here on the Mushroom Island, which is quickly turning into a very tropical paradise island with giant red palm trees. Sure, that's a thing. Anyways, we're back over here to do some cow farm making, and I got myself some redstone stuff down here. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to put it in the side of this hill. On the, This is the hill that we can see from, from the house over there. So if we put it on the back side of the hill, we can kind of put industrial stuff down here. Um, I started with with my two seeds that I had, I don't know what I was thinking. I don't have any seeds over here at all at spawn, and I came back from the from the slime gathering, and I didn't have any seeds, so I only have two. So I got this little plot going here to try to get some more seeds. Anyways, I'm rambling. Let's just go over here, and we're gonna put in uh, kind of a slope design for this cow farm. Uh, we're gonna be using the the piston bug, where uh, where baby cows will get pulled through pistons when they when they activate like that. That Baby cow will get there, and then so it'll pop out the back side of the piston there. And uh, yeah, so that's how we're going to be doing this farm. And uh, let me just dig out a little spot here in the wall, and then I'll show you how I'm going to do the redstone for this. All right, so here's what I'm thinking. We got, wow, I can't, as soon as I start recording, I just fall right off the edge there. So what I'm thinking here is uh, if you look at this setup here, we got these, these six pistons here that will pull the baby cows through the the breeding cows will stand in this little slot right here, and then uh, when these pistons activate, baby cows will get pulled through. They'll float down this way, float down this way, float around the corner over here, and then we'll kind of have a collection spot down here where we can we can drop them down uh, two blocks so they don't try to like you know, go back up the water stream, basically. Um, but I'm going to kind of do this sloping out wooden setup here. Uh, and then from there we'll start working on the redstone. A little something like that, I guess. Yeah, with a sloped roof. Oh, it looks kind of nice. I like where it's going. Uh, but let's take a break on the roof because that took me way too long to figure out that I was using slabs and not stairs. I can figure out like why is it not wrapping like I want to. Uh, well, that's because I was using slabs, not stairs. Anyways, so. Uh, I have that piston powered there because I kind of took out the lever. Anyways, don't worry about that. I got this, guys. Okay, so what we need to do to make this run is we need to have blocks on top of these like so. I might actually want to break those up a little bit into these. So we'll put... Actually, you can't see these. It doesn't matter. So if we put redstone across the top there and break that torch we should get wait what am I doing Ugh. I need to put a block there there we go yeah all those pistons fire so basically um, that doesn't crush them because there's no block this is basically a transparent block but it will suck them through the the babies but not the adults so what I need to do then is make a little clock here because when I was testing this out, if it just does it like one pulse like that, sometimes it misses the baby. So what I'm going to do is hook up a little mechanism here so that you can flick the lever to release the water. That will make the adults bob up and down so that it's a lot easier to, to feed them the wheat. And it'll also push them down to the side. So if you sit on this side, they'll fight the current towards the wheat and it'll just spread them out even more than if they were just bouncing. Um, anyways. Once you flick the lever to retract the water again, it'll cause this little uh, redstone line here to pulse a few times, like maybe three or four times, and that will make sure that all the babies get sucked through and go down here. And I don't know if this will work. I've never actually tried this, um, and I'll just figure it out with you guys so that you find out how noobish I really am. But I think babies can go up a water elevator. I could be wrong because they're less than one block, but... It's only a single source block that I need them to get into. I don't need them to pass through multiple source blocks, just one. So we'll see. Maybe it'll be some sort of slab trick to get them to do it. But I think we can get the babies to float up right in here. And then uh, it'll be really easy to kill them when they grow up. 
Uh, something I didn't think about until just now was if their items fall down, we're going to have to catch them with a hopper. We'll worry about that if, if the water elevator actually works out, because I honestly don't think that the baby cows can go up a water elevator. Anyways, I'm going to put in this little redstone clock and everything here, and then uh, we'll go catch some cows and bring them in here. All right. Well, it isn't pretty, but if we flip this lever here, the water will come out. And then we flip it back again. You get a couple pulses out of those pistons there. So it's pretty messy back here, but down there is the water uh, holding piston, which is controlled by the lever, so it's always on. Um, and we're passing through this block here so that we don't pass the power up into here because that's the ones that pulse. We don't want those always on. So we run over here. We invert our signal to a little burnout system here, which isn't really reliable to give like an exact number of pulses. Sometimes it's a little bit more if it, if it lags right then. Um, sometimes a little bit less. Depends, but we pull off that torch. So the torch is, is uh, burning out. So we pull off that torch so it's off. And then basically, if we can simulate it here, when this gets a, a quick pulse like that, well, I guess it's not quick, it's when you flip the lever, but when it switches, you get that little burnout clock there and that runs over and does a couple pulses on these pistons. So that's how that works, and I brought some cows over here, got two of them in there, but um, I'd like to bring some more because I don't really have enough wheat to be to be breeding them. So I think I'm going to go grab a couple more of those and fill it up and get some more wheat going over here, and uh, then we'll test out and see if we can get the little babies to float up in here. I don't know, guys. We'll see. All right, guys. We got about, I don't know, 8 or 10 or 12 cows in here, probably like 10. And I realize I can't place these slabs over their heads, so we got to do our little... Whoops. Got to do some... Okay, why can't I... Oh, I know why. This doesn't work like that. There we go. There's one. Torch on that block. There we go. All right, there we go. We got our starter cows in here. I only have two wheat, so here we go. One, two. Make a baby. Oh, it worked. I got the achievement. Here we go. All right. Will the baby drown down? That probably should have... Uh, oh, crap. They might be getting stuck in that. Did it die? No, I see particles. All right, here we go. Here it is. Can it get in the water elevator? It cannot get in the water elevator. Hmm. Well, I guess it's not a problem. They could just bounce around there till they grow up, right? Yeah, that'd be fine. I don't see. I don't see why they couldn't just bounce around there and until they grow up. Because who cares? We only want to kill the adult ones, anyways. That might work perfectly. All right, let's put some dirt here and get out of here. Yeah. So his damage that he took. I don't know if you heard that. I definitely heard that. The damage he was taking was because there was a dirt block right there, and uh, these blocks here have to be. And I'm really bad today with the being in position. Those blocks have to be um, transparent or whatever, half slabs, glass, something like that, so they can't suffocate. Uh, when they get pulled through by the piston. So, I guess that worked. Um, we? Could, could you guys grow up real quick? Well, I've messed around with this quite a bit here, and it doesn't seem like cows can go up water elevators like villagers can. So, scrap that idea. I guess we'll have to do something else different here to get these guys out. Oh, I didn't want milk. I mean, thank you for the milk, but I wanted this water, dude. Come on. Wouldn't it be cool if you could, like, place milk like water? That'd be weird. All right, I'm going to figure out a different way to make these cows get out of here and then uh, check back in. All right, change this around a little bit down there. Had to do a little bit of, uh, uh, like, a rework of the water channel, so it's a little bit lower now. Or lower. It's a little bit higher, rather, so that it comes out to right here. Um, I don't think it will end up killing the babies, but we'll find out. I never turned the water on. Okay, there we go. There's the baby. And now, will he survive? 
There he is. He's alive. Perfect. Alright, so yep, he'll stay there and grow up. This is the, the other one that grew up. He kind of got away, so yeah. I think this will work, so we might as well use our last four wheat here to get a few of these. Let's uh, get them flushed down here. There we go. Flip that off. And some little friends should come down here for him. Come on. One. Two. Is there only two? How are you guys doing? Oh yeah, and the XP will come out here too. How's he taking damage? What is he getting... What? What? I don't understand. How are you taking damage? I guess I'll let you guys out because I'd rather not kill you. That's strange, guys. I'll figure this out. I'll be back. All right. I think it's solved now. I don't know if it has something to do with the fence gate or what, but with this sign here, they're not taking damage anymore. So I don't know what that was all about. I apologize for this rain. It'll go away soon. Um, let's grab some more wheat. Do we have two wheat here? Uh, not quite. I guess we'll plant some seeds. All right, well, I'm going to get some more wheat, and then we'll try breeding them up again and see if, if it works. Okay, we got four more wheat here. I know I just love saving up my wheat, don't I? All right, there we go. And one, two, should be, oh yeah, just two. All right, you guys gonna take damage? Aha, they're not taking damage. That's so weird, because I'm pretty sure if I put a fence gate down, then I open it. That has no collision box. But apparently it does. Weird. Alright, well, I'm going to let these guys grow up and uh, hopefully this rain will go away because, man, it's been here forever. Alright, guys. Well, we got this all done here. These guys aren't getting getting killed in the blocks anymore. Um, they do kind of go up the stream occasionally when I hit them, but that's because I have that knockback on the sword. But anyways, put a chest in here to collect all the lovely little drops from them and we got some wheat growing over here but that's about all we're gonna do for today so guys i will see you in the next one